So they look like the AirPods, function like the AirPods, good build quality, and all of this at the fraction of the AirPods cost. Well, when Ripress mentioned this, I was like, well, then shut up and take my money. But then did I make the right decision? Well, this is the review of the Ultra Bus 2021. Let's get this started. Option, this is SKMDK, back with another video. So to my returning subscribers, thanks for tuning in again. And if you're new to the channel, then welcome. And I hope you join the team. So this time around is the March edition of the Tech Under 1K monthly series. And as I've mentioned before, this will be the review of the recently released Ultra Buds 2021 from Rip Reps. And as you can also probably tell by the title of this video, it's also giveaway time. I'm really excited about this. I'll be giving away a new pair of the Ultra Buds 2021 that I'll be reviewing in this video. So I'm really happy about this. And this is really just to show how grateful I am for the support that you've been showing me. And the details of the giveaway will be towards the end of this video. So stick around to find out what you could potentially be winning. So let us start with the design first. This really just screams AirPods. The casing is similar as well as the bars themselves. Looking at the bars themselves, they have a magnetic charging contact point at the bottom, sensors on the side, and a microphone. The charging case itself even uses the lighting connector port. So I know, I know, usually if a product looks very much similar to the original one, you are tempted to say, well, this is a scam. But are they really good? Let's explore more. Next, let's look at how to set them up. These are really set up similar to the AirPods. Now, you can set them up with any device, be it your phone, your laptop, basically any Bluetooth enabled device. You simply open the case, then pair them by pressing and holding the pair button at the back until the LED blinks white. Then you can search for them on your phone and then select them and then you are ready to go. So however, this is only for the first time you're setting them up. Once paired, you simply just need to open the case and then they will connect automatically. Now something interesting that I noticed with my own pair of Ultra Buds, I don't know if it's my own ones only, is after when I first connected them, they were saying white pods. The Bluetooth name was white pods. But then subsequently when I started connecting them to the other devices and also connected back to my phone, they were actually labeling themselves as AirPods. Now, that's interesting. Now let's look at the comfort of these AirPods. These stick very well onto my ear, no issues whatsoever. Now personally, when I always think of wireless AirPods, I always think, can I actually use them to go for a light job without them falling off? Now this is me testing them outside. So I've decided to go outside and sort of try to test the ultra buds if you were to use them while exercising so you can see i have them on um and i'm just gonna do like a light jog and probably increase the intensity of the run to see if they get stuck in nicely so still fine now so let's start okay let's increase the intensity You can see it's still stuck in nicely. I'll try to see if I can even increase more the intensity. So like, <laughs> that's as, as fast like, as I can go. Um, just with the fact that I'm holding my phone. But yeah, that's it. Um, try to see if, if I jump, shake my head. Okay, they're not even coming out. Um, so yeah, 
I think you can use them. Okay, if I shake faster like this, it does sort of now start coming off. But really, I feel like if you're running, you're not gonna be run, be shaking like that. So yeah, I think they're ideal if you wanna, oh, breathing heavily. <laughs> I'm so unfit. If you're gonna decide to go jog with them and listening to music, probably if you connected them to your smartwatch. So yeah, that's it. Um, hopefully this is also helpful for if you were thinking of using them uh, <laughs> while you are running. Cheers. Now, as you've seen, even going for a light jog, this don't fall off. So they stick very well onto your ear. Now let's consider the sound quality. Now I have to say, I don't invest so much into headphones. And if you invest so much into headphones and always go for the head best quality, you might actually judge differently on this category. But I think you will still agree with me that these are quite good. Now I have to say that the bass sound is not very strong. However, I have to say that probably this is because I'm coming from the Sabat E12 Ultra headphones, which are well known for a very good bass sound. However, in overall, I have to say I love the sound quality of this Ultra Buds. Now looking more into functionality, just like the AirPods, this also have the feature of automatically connecting upon opening the case, as well as then giving you information about the headphones. Now I don't have an Apple device myself, so I just used a third party app on my Galaxy Z Fold 2 to test this functionality. However, it doesn't seem to work so well, but I believe this is more about the third party app and not the Ultra Buds themselves. Now still like the AirPods, this also have touch controls. Double tapping the right bud will get to the next track, while double tapping on the left bud pauses the music. While still on the point of pausing, this works like the AirPods, when you remove one bud, the music will pause, and then putting it back again, the music will continue going. I found this to be a very, a very helpful feature, in that when someone is trying to talk to you and you're listening to music, and just take off one of the buds, listen to them and then put it back again and the music will continue playing without you having to touch your phone. Now all of this makes me think this are generic AirPods, yes, but very good generic AirPods. Now all I've been talking about has been my experience as an Android user. Now I thought, let me give you a full picture of the Ultra Buds by then getting someone who has used the original AirPods and also an Apple user. Now thanks to Mr. N for agreeing to help me on this front by giving his opinion as an Apple user as well as the original AirPods user to then compare how is the experience. And so let's go for a quick discussion with him. Okay, so welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have Mr. N here. Um, as, as in my video, would have noticed that I give my opinion on the on the Ultra Buds based on an Android user. So I asked uh, Mr. N here to get uh, his view from an Apple user and someone who's used who's used who's uh, used um, um, AirPods before. So he'll give us like um, his overall experience in terms of. How was it to set it up? How different they are to the airport, sound quality, battery life, as well as functions, as well as some quirks that he sort of uh, uh, picked up. So yeah, that's it. Okay. So this is, this is Mr. N. So first question, yeah. Mr. N, is your overall experience of the Ultra Buds using them on their own. Mm -hmm. And then second part of that question is compared to your original airports, what's your overall experience? Okay, your honest uh, overall experience. <laughs> okay, uh, setting them up, it's not that different uh, because it gives you an instructions on the on the on the phone as you uh, open the the ultra pods. You call them ultra pods, but they're saying white pods. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna yeah. call them white pods. So, <laughs> um, so when you open it, it tells you that this is not configured on your phone. Then you have to configure it, as opposed to the um, original ones. When you open them. Uh, it just tells you to press the button to connect so you don't have to go the five more steps as compared to the white uh, pods. Um, overall experience if you do not know the difference or if you never use the Apple ones it's you cannot tell the difference yeah. but only if you've used the other ones you can tell the difference. Um, the sound is a bit squeaky but 
of, of, of the ultra buds of the ultra buds okay. it's 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 a bit squeaky but uh it's not something that you can notice offhand if you haven't used the other yes, ones yes. yeah okay and then well, okay so in terms of the the bass sound is, is it which one do you think is much more stronger because when i compared them to my other um sort of earphones or mm -hmm. wireless headphones I felt like they were lower. So when you compare to AirPods, which one do you think is much more stronger? Um, the white pods, they, 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 how do I say? The, the equalizer, if I may put it that way, if there's an equalizer into them, it's it's not based on, it, it's based on the, the song that you play. Okay. If the song has got high, I don't know if they call it frequency or, but if you play on, on the white pods, it, if the song is low from recording, they're gonna be low, and if it's high, it's gonna be high. As opposed to the the Apple Pods, when you play, you can change that on your equalizer on the phone to say, oh. okay, I want the higher bass, the lower tweet, or yeah, yeah, the yeah. the middle, what they call okay. it. Yeah. But, but in, in terms of sound quality, you give them a good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're they're okay. They're okay. okay. On um, I've been on uh, video calls. I've been on voice calls. Oh, I've listened okay. to music with them. Yeah, they they quite okay. They quite okay. Uh, and, and in terms of call quality, so you're saying that's also good because yeah. there's one thing that they said, uh, Reflex themselves is like they in, improve the call quality of those ones compared to the 2020 uh, edition because it's a 2021 edition. Do you think it's actually quite good? The call yeah, quality? it's it's quite good. It's quite good because even if when you are having both pods on and then you're on a call and you take one out, you are still able to carry on with the other one without noticing the difference that i cannot hear the guys well or yeah. maybe the sound has gone lower okay so yeah and i've tried using the left one for about an hour and then changed to the right one so you have a bit of a flexibility to them okay. to, uh, while you're on a call okay that's good that's good i like hearing that and in terms of battery life uh compared to the airpods how do you think they compare um a battery life my honest opinion battery life is I want uh, your honest opinion. <laughs> I want your honest opinion. Yeah. Uh, the white pods, uh, they're a bit faster to drain and they're, they're very fast to charge. Okay. So, okay, the case takes longer to charge, okay. but the pods themselves, they're quite quicker to charge. And because I've once used them and then the other one drained quicker than the other one and I had to take them off and charge them, which was a bit quicker and then since then um i haven't noticed any other difference yeah. when you, you you have them on though i use them for about two to three hours a day okay. and um i've had them for is it a month or two months i think a month yeah i've had them for a month yeah, and i've only but, i've yeah. only charged them once is it yeah i've only charged them once since. but then but you don't use them every day then uh let me say about an hour or two every day okay okay then okay that sort of makes sense that yeah makes sense. i've only charged them once that makes sense okay cool and then just on that thing or oh, well that point that you made of that one drain faster than the other one mm -hmm. tell us more about that because that's also weird were you using one more uh let's say you were using the if it's the left one that drained faster mm -hmm. we're using the left one for an extended period while you had the other one in the case and then you put them or it's just like it was just a weird thing that happened actually I, I had both them on and i was driving and i could feel that no man i'm not hearing the sound from the, the left side and then when i opened my phone i saw the other one was flashing red meaning that it's drained out i was like okay i took it off and then continued with the call and then after that that's when i took the the case and then and put it in within an hour it was full again okay yeah but that's very weird so Unless, okay, yeah. anyway, we, we wouldn't well, well, know well, what, well, what well, happened. It's, it's arguable. You can argue the fact that maybe the other one wasn't charging when, wasn't charging when yes. there, or maybe because that's I had it on thing that yeah. needs to actually touch within it. Exactly. So maybe it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, yeah, then it wasn't touching it. In or maybe so. I had the, the other one longer than the other one. It, it yeah. happens, it happens. Okay. So, based on but that, is, is that something that you've experienced with your original airports before? Um, the other. The original ones not really you find that when the other one is still on 90 the other one can be on 60. Oh, okay. it's not that huge difference yeah, between I, them i mean that was like the other one was dying the other yeah one was still fine okay that's 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 interesting and then now 
I mean, the original AirPods is like special functions, like touch functions, mm -hmm. your Siri, your pause when you take them out. Mm -hmm. Do they also work on your side with your Apple device? Um, in terms of Siri, when you double tap, it does activate Siri. That Which I is give... what also happens. Yeah. Right. Okay. Which also happens. Um, when you are maybe playing music with the, the white pods and you take them off, it pauses the music. But when you press play or you unpause the music, it continues playing while it's not not wearing them. Uh, as opposed to the, the original pods when you Which take them off play. and then when you continue playing music, it takes the music back to the phone as ah. not in the, okay. in the pods. So that's sort of the only uh, sort of difference. But yeah. in terms of pausing when you take them out and then you put them back, they continue yeah. playing. Yeah, yeah that, that, okay. that, that, they do. And are there any other sort of special airports functions that you sort of notice because i don't know is there a way to increase the volume or by tapping or anything or no. is it like that no. okay so meaning the original tapping functions that you have in your airports are also on the ultra band. so the the original tapping that you have is when you answer the phone yeah. or activate siri and yeah it's working on the other ones on the white pods as well i yeah there's not any Normal other functionalities okay, okay. cool I'm, I'm thinking if, if there's anything else that I want to sort of ask. Um, so, yeah, I think... At, you, at the, the, the range, I've tried uh, testing the range. Okay. okay. Uh, if it's on a, on a, in a clear room, you can walk a bit longer. But if you leave the phone as, and then you go to the next room... Oh, it's it, probably the, interference. Yeah, interference. Wall, and it exactly. loses a, a bit of a frequency. Yeah. And again, there's a, a feature where you say... Um, what's that? Listen... I forgot the Apple feature. Okay. But what, what happens is you can uh, enable that feature. And then you leave your phone, you wear your pods. And then go to the next room. You will hear everything that's happening in that room. It also functions well. With the Ultra Buds? Yeah. Okay, interesting. Okay, so meaning that they're actually very close. <laughs> yeah, they're... Um, uh, I mean, I would... I, I'm, I'm even so convinced that they're probably the best generic yeah. AirPods. That are... <laughs> to, to be honest, they're, they're the best generics. I could say from the, the Apple Pods, about 75 to 80%. Yeah. It's just the, there and there yeah, where you can... Quirks that you can see even the not... casing, the outside, if you give it to someone who has never used the, the original Pods, they won't, they won't notice the difference. Interesting. Okay, that's that, that, that's interesting, and I mean like the fraction of the cost. <laughs> I yeah, think the AirPods. Yeah. What's the cost again? If you, um, I've got uh, second gen. The if you buy them new, they're between two point five to three thousand, and if you get them second hand, they go around about between one thousand one point five. Sure. Okay. Okay. And that, uh, how much are these? These ones are one thousand. Okay. Okay. So, I think, yeah, I think you're saving. Uh, well, yeah. there's also that sort of twenty percent less, as you said, mm -hmm. when you compare eight yeah. percent of the features or of how the AirPods work is how the Ultra Buds are. So there's that trade-off. But I feel like for me, well, okay, I'm now talking from an Android mm -hmm. perspective. They're still fine. So yeah, I'm glad that you're also feeling that way. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's it. So also the casing right mm -hmm. you said something about that they are a bit different yeah um let's let's run through some of the differences right okay so if you look at them in front mm -hmm. uh what we notice is that pairing button right well i don't know if it's also called a pairing button yeah, airport, yeah right? you can call it pairing button is lower on the airports yeah while on the ultra bars is a bit higher yeah. right and also well i think this is just aesthetics well this one is sort of, sort of more premium mm -hmm. compared to this which is like plastic yeah but in terms of looks they almost the same the other difference that you told me that you noticed was the fact that the, the led yeah, that the LED. shows about pairing and battery and all that mm -hmm. is different uh well the positioning on the mm -hmm. ultra buds is outside and mm -hmm. on the airports it's, it's inside. inside right yeah. so it's the inside and the other one is okay cool and but besides that they all sort of same there's yeah. no difference whatsoever because i'm now mm. seeing even the sensors yeah the they sensor exactly in the same, the same. Place. okay cool uh and also when we 
when you that sort of uh, thing when you connect your airports it shows up that shows your battery information all, mm-hmm. all that it also works exactly yeah, the same it's exactly no same. difference whatsoever the, the only difference you can get is on the other one it says it says the name's pods but on the on the white pods just say white pods it doesn't say the name oh it's like, it doesn't uh, say let's school, say school. Mr. N's, uh, yeah it's pods. it just pods, says white yes. pods okay. that's okay. the only difference and but uh other Besides than that, that it's, the it's the same okay cool man i think that was it uh thanks for for actually agreeing to <laughs> take them and test them so that even when now i give a review i didn't want to give a one-sided review for yeah. android uh, from an android perspective mm-hmm. i wanted someone because i mean they're really generic airports so you yeah. want to find out where they sort of derived from mm-hmm. how do they compare so i'm happy that you say they compare well so yeah uh, i think yeah my viewers will also then yeah. get a very good perspective on if you're gonna use them as an android user or apple user how do they compare yeah, yeah. I, I would say if you're an um apple user and you want affordable ones they you can this go for the them to go. yeah you can go for them uh there isn't much difference yeah and if you've never had the original ones like i said you won't you, you, you won't, won't know just... what's happening yeah cool man thanks yeah. uh, that was it uh thank you very much again for agreeing to to help me with this always, uh, always. i'm really grateful man. so there you have it from the perspective of an apple user now i have to say that i feel like these are very good generic airpods they just do the job now let's talk about the charging of this Ultra Buds. The charging case itself uses a lightning connector. Now my Android friends, do not be worried because in the box itself included is a USB to lightning connector cable. So you'll just need a power brick to charge your Ultra Buds. Now the case itself is what charges the Ultra Buds when you put them back into it. Now something that I like about the charging case is the fact that it also supports wireless charging. Now this I found to be very useful, especially if your phone also supports wireless power sharing. Is that it means that even if on the go and your ultra buds loses power you can just put them on your phone and then you charge them and you continue listening to music now i have to say that i actually haven't checked the charging speeds of the ultra buds but they actually charge very quickly now let's look at the pricing of the ultra buds themselves these are actually currently running at a cost of 999 on the repreps website while and i actually think this is a bargain compared to the airports which are like two triple nine and i mean if the quality is sort of similar i think this is really a bargain however as i said at the start of this video one of my lucky subscribers won't have to pay this 999 if they want the ultra buds because i'll be giving away one of them yes the brand new one here we have it see still sealed as well as then this um lightning connector a uh, usb to lightning connector and the reason for this is because actually the one that's included in this box doesn't seem to well work well with the ultra bus themselves so this is the replacement cable so i'll be giving you both to 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 the one of my like subscribers i'll be giving both so that you can have them and actually enjoy the ultra bus themselves now more about the giveaway this will only be a south african giveaway however i do plan to do more giveaways and actually go international as my channel grows now to send a chance to win this ultra bus this is all you have to do number one make sure you subscribe to my channel Number two, share the Facebook post about this giveaway or share the Instagram post about this giveaway on your stories and then actually tag me or retweet the post about this giveaway on Twitter. Now I'll link all the links to this post on my description box. And then the last thing that you need to do, the third one, is to comment on this video, on this YouTube video with the words Ultra Buds giveaway and then also with the profile name of what you use to um, complete step two. So for example, what you would comment on this video would say Ultra Buds giveaway, and then Twitter at school635. Then that way I'll be able to track and make sure that everything has been completed. Yeah, so all the best for the giveaway. I'm really grateful um, for the support and I'm, uh, that's why I'm giving away to show my, my gratitude. And also while at it, I would also appreciate if you could follow me on my social media networks. This will ensure that uh, when I do more giveaways, you're alerted as well as when I upload more tech videos. And also, if you like this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button. All the best about the giveaway. And then 
Again, this was the March edition of the Tech Under 1K monthly series. Please come back after a month for the April edition. See you in the next one. Cheers.